you need you need to know biomechanics. You need to know uh, molecular structure. You need to know recipe making. You need to know your mathematics for that. Uh, it's it's just a huge science, and that got me really interested in it. Completely different in terms of we're always targeting flavors, flavor profile. So you get your usual malty sweetness, a little bit hot, not too much hot. But then you get a lovely vanilla, toffee, and oak character coming through the backbone, very smooth. I think it comes down to the ingredients and the ability to get a little bit creative. Our beers use 100% malted grain. Uh, we don't use any adjuncts, no corn, no rice, no preserving agents. It's 100% natural premium beer. Um, I mean, it's all about innovation for us, so it's all about blending styles, you know, pushing things forward, trying to innovate as much as possible. Because it's a microbrew and it's craft beer, we put a lot more effort into bringing out flavors and introducing people back into the concept of having a beer, not only for the taste, but also the enjoyment and discussion that's followed with it. Well, when I started the Sanctuary, uh, probably over three years ago now, it was always our intent to bring in a small craft brewery. You know, Niagara, Niagara has all this great beer in it now. The beer movement down here is blowing up. And I was like, you know what? Niagara needs a real craft beer festival. Uh, craft brewing is growing. I, I, Ontario, I think, is going to become a real hotbed for craft brewing in Canada. We've got great ingredients, uh, great programming, great mentorships. Uh, great brewing colleges. Oh, it's booming. It's uh, it's insane rain now, and there's a huge demand for it. And it's nice because other breweries, they're seeking out our students. So uh, it's definitely going to keep growing, and uh, as a college, we'll be growing with it. I think there's lots of room for growth. Uh, it's amazing to see the growth that has has already occurred in Ontario. You see the passion and the creativity from some of the Ontario, or from all of the Ontario craft breweries, and it's just phenomenal. There's nothing but upside. Today, you've got a completely different awareness of craft beer. You've got a completely different demand for flavor. Sample responsibly, enjoy yourself, talk to the brewer. Usually if you're at a craft beer festival, the sales reps actually work for the company, so they know stuff about the company. They're wanting to meet the fans. They're wanting to talk to people. I'm surprised at the number of breweries they're able to get here. There's a large amount of breweries offering a lot of different beers, and um, the variety is just amazing. This is definitely really nice. Um, it seems really well put together, really well run, um, and I really like the selection that they have here, definitely. Most of the beer festivals I've been to have been, you know, rink a dink, there's maybe five, six brewers, but this place is packed. You know what, our future lies with the children. Uh, there is so many other things you can give to. You could give to the Cancer Society, you could give to to the CNIB, which I've also been a part of, seeing out of Legally Blind. You could give it to almost anything, but the children are always our future, so doing anything to help them, especially if they're sick, and helping them and their family at the same time, best way for me to go. For me, I don't care about profit. I care about bringing together an event for a lot of beer lovers and having a good time with it, and again, using the money to help something.